What is up YouTube? Welcome back to What You Techno Boy. And in today's video, I'm gonna open this uh, studio amplifier which I sent before in the unboxing video and the sound this video. This is from at Fun Tech, a local brand uh, studio amplifier, which is a pretty good one. And I tell you, this is the best at this at the price range. So uh, today I'm gonna open this thing and. Uh, we all are going to see what's inside of it what kind of amplifier kit are they using the transformer and all the stuff so let's start all right so this is inside of this uh, amplifier and it's pretty neat and clean so let's start with this power supply here this is the transformer uh this would be 20 so 20 volt transformer i guess not sure about that i'm gonna test it uh, later so then this is a rectifier kit has two capacitors so 50 volt and 3300 mft for diodes are here to make it as a bridge rectifier and to 10 kpf are here so from there this red blue and the gray color where you can see here this is the output to the amplifier board and here you can see even ic it's a 12 volt regulator ic i think you can see the number here so this is a supply for this tone control kit if you can see you see the button the bigger one and another kit is here hopefully you can see that the two kits are here this is a kit connected to the control switches here and the button one this is the tone controller the bus treble and uh, that's the power supply for that and uh, here this is the bluetooth fm kit and uh, this is the power supply for that must be a 5 volt power supply here and uh, that's it it's uh, pretty simple now I'm gonna open this amplifier kit and gonna see what kind of MOSFET uh, they're using well this is a speaker where you can see that the white uh, blue and green blue is the ground the negative one sorry the ground one green is for the right channel and white is for the left channel as I told you, these are serially connected to the bottom uh, connectors here. So technically, this is not a four channels amplifier, it's a two channel amplifier, but they're serially connected. So you get, four connections uh, for the speaker you can connect four sound boxes so that's it they are not actually four channels and they use the speaker wires these are pretty good uh, maybe 1.3 mm which is quite a thick enough for the large speakers and now let's open this hexing and turn this kit so you can see the MOSFET there Alright, here it is. Okay, these are Toshiba and one is C5198 and another one is A1941. Hope you can see that. Another two I cannot see, it must be the same. And the other two. I just uh, checked it out it's the same one is 5198 and another one is uh, 1941 so it's the same uh, MOSFET these two are same and these two are same but these two are I think newer different I don't know these are written in a white color and these are not in white color so it's hard to see uh, the numbers here so anyway this is the kit you can see it is pretty good and uh, now we're gonna check the 
Fold the issue of the transformer and the rectifier. But first, well, let me mount those heads into the cabinet once again. All right, I have removed this rectifier kit and uh, keep it upside down so I can access these uh, connections here. So let's check the AC voltage here from the transformer and the DC voltage the output. Well, let's just turn this on. All right. All right, now the meter is set to AC voltage and let's check it out. It's 24 volt. Wow, that's great. Okay, so that's the voltage from the transformer. It's a 24 volt. And now let's check the DC voltage. It's 31 volt. You can see that. Okay, so it's a 31 volt output and the 24 volt uh, AC input per supply. So, which is a pretty good one. And uh, so that's it, guys. That uh, that was the inside log video of this Durantle Fire. And I uh, hope you like the video. If you like it, hit the like button and share it with all your friends. And subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.